right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a good one. So today I'm just casually cleaning all my camera equipment. Anyways, we're finally getting some snow today. I'm gonna call my friend. I have an idea in my head. So let's do some snowy car photography. Snowy photography. What the snow like about that? No, 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 that's perfect. Like in the elements, right? Dude, this shot is already so fire. Look at that. I don't get the plate. A bit lower, eh? It's okay. That's just stock height. That's. Yo, honestly, that's fine. I actually have a friend. He got the new Subaru, the WRX. Yeah, it looks. The look is, you know. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, there's too much plastic, like on the bottom. It looks so much higher than it's supposed to. Or like not as wide. I don't. Know, that's how I felt. Oh, this is sick. Alright, this is the uh, 24 mil. Got a high above shot. We'll switch up a lens. All right, I'm gonna change the 85 millimeter. Gonna draw my camera. Oh my god. Oh my god, this lens is crazy. Do you see the path right here? Yeah. Do you want to move the car to the center? Up. Yeah, yeah. To move back a little bit. Thanks. Go, 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 go. A bit more, a bit more. <laughs> yeah, man. Same location. Yeah, man. Set up changes. Yeah. Oh my God, this is beautiful.
people are so respectful. Like I'm in public space and they're like, oh, can't go over or something. <laughs> Waiting for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love them. Okay, five minutes of this. Let's go over the, the trees and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, and then, like after that turn, basically, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. Do a couple shots of this. Wanna go over there? Yeah, in the middle. There's no car, so. You want to make the car straight? Go straight towards me? Yeah. So sick. Yeah, man, I do, I do. So, how do you like those photos? Not bad for impulsive photo shoot, eh? Honestly, we had like 30 minutes to shoot just because it got so dark so quick. The night came a lot faster than I anticipated, probably because of the thick clouds and the snow. Nevertheless, I want to show you guys this one trick in Lightroom that bring your photos to the next level and that's with graduated filters. So if you never touched those before, that's okay. They're located in the top right of the Lightroom. I know those icons can be scary, but it's like your puberty years, there's a first time for everything. So just press M on your keyboard for a shortcut and you just bring down the exposure by a little bit there. That creates a little effect called vignetting, which basically means darken the outer part of the image that's not important to the subject, right? Because our eyes are always drawn to the brightest part of the image. Hence, the car is a subject and it shall stand out. You can add other filters and masking out if you want, but just follow the same principle that the subject is the brightest part of the image and darken everything else. I'm still editing the rest of the pictures, but when the video comes out, you should have already seen them a couple minutes earlier. So if you made it to this part of the video, I actually have a anabolic recipe to show you guys. All right, you know it's better than having a huge pump at the gym? is after push day, you go to take a shower. Enough the strength to put shampoo on your head and rub them into bubbles. Oh my God, that's me right now. But anyhow, I'm gonna teach you how to make this beef stir fry. So the veggies that we're preparing for this beef stir fry is onions, I personally like Spanish onions. So in this behemoth bowl, we have broccoli, one carrot and one red pepper. I know the portion's kind of off, but the broccoli is about to expire. And then separate the green onion from the roots and the stems. And in this little bowl, we have garlic and ginger. So around 15 to 20 grams of ginger. And uh, I mean, I like to go heavy on the garlic. Approximately seven to eight cloves. So the sauce is actually pretty easy. I'm just gonna read them out. Low sodium soy sauce, 100 ml. Vinegar, 40 ml. Brown sugar, 70 grams. Sesame oil, 15 grams. Garlic and ginger paste, minced. And then chili flakes, add whatever you want. Thank you. 
So our protein is 1 to 1.5 kilograms of ground beef. And then I suggest freezing the ground beef because they go bad super, super quick, probably within a day or two. When you freeze them, always make them flat. So when you thaw them, they will thaw pretty evenly. All right, let's start cooking. Always, always, always warm up the wok before you add anything in. All right, when the pan's warm, add some oil. You don't have to add that much oil to beef just because they're so fat. All right, when the oil is warm, I have to add the beef. Let it cook for three minutes ish. After a couple of minutes, you're welcome to add some seasoning. I like to add some salt and some white pepper. And then cook for another three to five minutes or until all the beef are cooked. This is optional, but I like to add some cooking wine to the beef. So after all the beef is all cooked, we add the onions. Just let it cook for two minutes. All right, after two minutes, let's add this behemoth of veggie tray. And then add some more seasoning. See, this is why I want a bigger wok. It is so hard to stir right now. Oh yeah, don't forget to add the roots of the green onion. Try my hardest not to spill anything. And then after a couple of minutes of struggling, let's add the sauce. So in the end, I always love to add some sesame seed. It's the taste of home. Don't let it cook for too long, because when vegetables get mushy, it doesn't taste great. You want that crunchiness texture in the vegetables. So isn't this just delicious and magical? Source of protein, source of nutrients, and a lot of rice. Hmm, delicious. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up here today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.